ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वेलकम टू टुडे रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत वी बी रीडिंग फ्रॉम मध्य लीला चैप्टर वन एंड वी शाल बी कमेंसिंग फ्रॉम वर्ष नंबर नाइन्टी ऑनवर्ड्स मुखम करोति वाचलम अंगुम नमोति गुरुम यथ कृपा तुम हम वंदे श्री गुरुम तुम तारिहम परमानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्यश्वर हरि उद्देश्य करीते करी दिग्दर्शन मुख्य मुख्य लीलार करी सूत्र गणना जस्ट टू इंडिकेट दोज पास टाइम्स आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग अ जनरल सर्वे ऑफ द चीफ पास टाइम्स इन फॉर्म ऑफ अ सिनॉप्सिस वर्ष नंबर 91 प्रथम सूत्र प्रभुर सन्यास करण सन्यास करी चलीला प्रभु श्री वृंदावन This is the first synopsis after accepting the sannyas order Chaitanya Mahaprabhu proceeded toward Vrindavan purport by his divine grace AC Bhakti Vidhan Shila Prabhupada Shila Prabhupada ki jai Clearly these statements are a real account of Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's acceptance of the renounced order of life His acceptance of this renounced order is not at all comparable to the acceptance of sannyas by Mayavadis After accepting sanyas Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to reach Vrindavan he was unlike the mayavad sanyasis <clears throat> who desired to merge into the existence of the absolute for a version of acceptance of sanyas means getting relief from all material activities and completely devoting oneself to the transcendental loving service of the lord this is confirmed by shila rupa goswami in the bhakti rasamrit sindhu 1.2.255 anasaktasya vishayan yathar yatharham upayunjitah nirbandha krishna sambandhe yuktam vairagyam uchyate for a vaishna the renounced order means completely giving up attachment for material things and engaging non stop in the transcendental loving service of the lord The Mayavadi sannyasis however do not know how to engage everything in the service of the Lord because they have no devotional training they think material objects to be untouchable brahma satyam jagan mithya the mayavadis think that the world is false but the vaishnav sannyasis do not think like this vaishnav say why should the world be false it is reality and it is spent for the service of the supreme personality of godhead For a version of sanyasi renunciation means not accepting anything for personal sense enjoyment devotional service means engaging everything for the satisfaction of the supreme personality of godhead verse 92 premete vihval bhaya nahika samrana radha deshe teen dina karila bhramana bhramana as you know is traveling same in hindi and sanskrit and in bengali as well When proceeding towards Vrindavan Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was overwhelmed with ecstatic love for Krishna and he lost all remembrance of the external world in this way he traveled continuously for 3 days in Radha Desh the country where the Ganges does not flow So those of you have heard this first time Radha Desh means is the country where Ganges does not flow वर्ष 93 नित्यानंद प्रभु महाप्रभु बुलाया गंगा तीरे लेना आयला यमुना बलिया फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लॉर्ड नित्यानंद बिवल्डर्ड श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु बाय ब्रिंगिंग हिम अलोंग द बैंक्स ऑफ गैंगस सेइंग दैट इट वाज द रिवर यमुना वर्ष 94 शांतिपुरे आचार्य र गृहे आगमना प्रथम भिक्षा कैला तहां रात्रे संकीर्तन After three days, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to the house of Advaita Acharya at Shantipura and accepted alms there. This was his first acceptance of the alms. At night, he performed congregational chanting there. <clears throat> and so it's auspicious to read this as well. This verse, because uh, as we know, Advaita Acharya appearance day is coming next week. <clears throat> Purport. It appears that in his transcendental ecstasy Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu forgot to eat for 3 continuous days he was then misled by Nityananda Prabhu who said 
that the river Ganges was the Yamuna because the Lord was in ecstasy of going to Vrindavan. He was gladdened to see the Yamuna, although in actuality the river was the Ganges. In this way, the Lord was brought to the house of Advait Prabhu at Shantipura after three days. <coughs> And he accepted food there. As long as the Lord remained there, he saw his mother Shachi Devi and every night executed congregational chanting with all the devotees. Verse 95 Mata Bhakta Ganera Tahan Karila Milana Sarva Samadhan Kari Kaila Niladri Kamana. At the house of Advaita Prabhu, he met his mother as well as all the devotees from Mayapur. He adjusted everything and then he went to Jagannath Puri. Purport Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knew very well that his acceptance of sannyas was a thunderbolt for his mother. He therefore called for his mother and the devotees from Mayapur and by the arrangement of Sri Advaita Acharya, he met them for the last time after his acceptance of sannyas. His mother was overwhelmed with grief when she saw that he was clean shaven. There was no longer any beautiful hair on his head. Mother Shachi was specified by all the devotees and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked her to cook for him because he was very hungry. Not having taken anything for three days, his mother immediately agreed and forgetting everything else, she cooked for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu during all the days she was at the house of Sri Advaita Prabhu. Then after a few days, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu requested his mother's permission to go to Jagannath Puri at his request, at his mother's request, he made Jagannath Puri his headquarters after his acceptance of sannyas. Thus everything was adjusted and with his mother's permission, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu proceeded toward Jagannath Puri. Verse 96 Pathe Nana Leela Shas Rasa Deva Darshana Madhav Puran Katha Gopal Sthapana Sthapana is installation. On the way for, toward Jagannath Puri, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu performed many other pastimes. He visited various temples and heard the story about Madhavendra Puri and the installation of Gopala. Purport, this Madhav Puri is Madhavendra Puri. Another Madhav Puri is Madhava Acharya, who was a spiritual master of a devotee in the line of Gadadhar Pandit and who wrote a book known as Sri Mangal Bhashya. Madhavachare, however, is different from Madhavendra Puri, who is mentioned in this verse. Verse number 97, Krishna Churi Katha, or is it Kuri? Sorry, I'm not very certain about this pronunciation here. Sakshi Gopal Vivarna Nityananda Kaila Prabhura Danda Bhanjana. From Nityananda Prabhu, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard the story of Kshira Churi. Yes, it should be Churi, yes. Kshira Churi Gopal and of the witness Gopal, which is Sakshi Gopal. Then Nityananda Prabhu broke the sannyas rod belonging to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So how beautiful is it? Krishna, is, as a Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, is hearing his own leelas from Nityananda Prabhu in this Verse. Purport the Kshira Churi Gopal Gopinath is situated in Remuna, about four miles away from the Baleshwara, which is Balasur present station on the northeastern railway, formerly known as the Bengal Mayapur Railway. This station is situated a few miles away from the famous Kharagpur Junction station. Some time ago, the charge of the temple was given to Shamasundar Adhikari from Gopi Vallapura which lies on the border of the district of Medinapur. Shamasundar Adhikari was a descendant of Rasikananda Murari, the chief disciple of Shamananda Goswami. A few miles from the Jagannath Puri station is a small station called Sakshi Gopala. Near this station is a village named Satyavadi, where the temple of Sakshi Gopal is situated. Verse 98 Kruta Hena Eka Gela Jagannath Dekhite Dekhiya Murchit Hana Padila Bhumite. After his sannyas rod was broken by Nitya and the Prabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu apparently became very angry and left his company to travel alone to Jagannath Puri, sorry, Jagannath Temple, same thing, 
When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu entered the Jagannath temple and saw Lord Jagannath, he immediately lost his senses and fell down on the ground. Verse 99 Sarvabhoma lena gela apna bhavana pritiya prahare prabhura haila chetana. So, gela in Bengali means went. Translation After the Lord. After Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw Lord Jagannath in the temple and fell down unconscious, Sarvabhom Bhattacharya took him to his home. The Lord remained unconscious until the afternoon when he finally regained his consciousness. So when Mahaprabhu had the darshan of Jagannath temple in Jagannath Puri, he, he fell unconscious and he was in that state for the whole of the morning. Verse number 100, Nityananda Jagadananda Damodar Mukunda Pache Asi Mili Sabe Paila Ananda. The Lord had left Nityananda's company and had gone alone to the Jagannath temple, but later Nityananda Jagadananda Damodar and Mukunda came to see him, and after seeing him, they were very pleased. Verse 101, Tabe Sarvabhome Prabhu Prasad Karila. Apana Ishwar Murti Tanare Dekhaila. After this incident, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu bestowed his mercy upon Sarvabhom Bhattacharya by showing him his original form as the Lord. So now the mercy has started to flow in Jagannath Puri. Lord is showing his original form to the various associates, his eternal associates who has come in the Gorlila as his associate. Verse 102, Tabeta Karila, Karila Prabhu Dakshina Gamana Kurma Kshetre Kaila Vasude Vimochana. After bestowing mercy upon Sarvabhom Bhattacharya, the Lord started for southern India. When he came to Kurma Kshetra, he delivered a person named Vasudev. Verse 103, Jiyada Nrisimhe Kaila Nrisimha Stavana Pathe Pathe Grame Grame or should, should it be Pathe Pathe? Pathe Pathe Grame Grame Nama Pravartana. After visiting Kurma Kshetra, the Lord visited the southern South Indian temple of Jiyada Nrisimha and after, offered his prayers to Lord Nrisimha Dev. On his way, he introduced the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra in every village. I'm not very familiar. It's Kurma Kshetra, I'm assuming this, this must be the place where uh, Lord Kurma's temple is there or some sort of connection with Lord Kurma there. It's in South India. Now Mahaprabhu is traveling. Godavari Tira Vane Vrindavan Brahma Ramananda Rai Saha Tahani Milana. So this is verse 104. Once the Lord mistook the forest on the bank of the river Godavari to be Vrindavan. In that place he happened to meet Ramananda Rai. So definitely it's the present Andhra Pradesh because Godavari flows through there. Verse 105, Trimala Tripadi Sthana Kaila Darshana Sarvatra Karila Krishna Nama Pracharana. He visited the places known as Tirumala and Tirupati. He extensively preached the chanting of the Lord's holy name. Purport, this holy place is situated in the district of Tanjore, Chittur in uh, South India. The temple of Tirupati is situated in the valley of Venkatachala and contains a deity of Lord Ramchandra. On top of Venkatachala is the famous temple of Balaji. So he is in Andhra Pradesh at the moment, the present Andhra Pradesh. Verse 106. Stabeta Pasandi Gane Karila Dalana Ahovala Visimadi Kaila Darshana. After visiting the temples of Tirumala and Tirupati, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had to subdue some atheists. He then visited the temples of Ahovala Nrisimha. Purport, the Ahovala temple is situated in Dakshinatya in the district of Karnul within the subdivision of Sarbela. Throughout the whole district, this very famous temple is much appreciated by the people. There are eight other temples also and all of them together are called Nava Nrisimha temples. There is much wonderful architecture and artistic engraving work in these temples. However, as stated in the local gazette, the Karanul manual, manual, the work is not complete. 
वर्स 107 श्रीरंग क्षेत्र आयला कावेरी रा तीरा श्रीरंग देखिया प्रेमा हाइला अस्थिरा व्हेन श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु केम टू द लैंड ऑफ श्रीरंग क्षेत्र ऑन द बैंक ऑफ द कावेरी ही विजिटेड द टेंपल ऑफ श्रीरंगनाथ एंड वाज देयर ओवरवेल्म्ड इन द एक्सटेसी ऑफ लव ऑफ गॉड सो सो वी आर इन द प्रेजेंट तिरुचिरापल्ली और त्रिची इन शॉर्ट एज इट इज कॉल्ड वे श्रीरंग Shirangam temple, the famous Shirangam temple is there, so it's it's all in Andhra Pradesh at the moment. We are having the yatra with the Lord. Verse 108, Trimala Bhattera Gare Kaila Prabhu Vasa Tahani Rahila Prabhu Varsha Chari Masa. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu lived at the house of Trimala Bhatta for the four months of the rainy season. That is the Chaturmas. Verse 109, Sri Vaishnav Trimala Bhatta Parama Pandita Gosanira Panditya Preme Haila Vismita. Vismita is astonished. Sri Trimala Bhatta was both a member of Sri Vaishnav community and a learned scholar. Therefore, when he saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who was both a great scholar and a great devotee of the Lord, he was very much astonished. To have the two combination, two things combined together is definitely an awe, thing, thing of an awe for an ordinary person. Verse 110, Chaturmasi Tanha Prabhu Shri Vaishnavera Sane Gunaila Nritya Gita Krishna Sankirtane. Lord Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu passed the Chaturmasi months with Shri Vaishnavas singing, chanting the holy name and dancing. And how fortunate were those people who saw Mahaprabhu during his Yatra. They were not ordinary people as we can see, they were definitely the associates of Lord from the eternal Leelas. Verse 111 Chaturmasya Ante Punah Dakshin Gamana Parmananda Puri Saha Tahani Milana After the end of Chaturmasya, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continued travelling throughout South India. At that time, he met Parmananda Puri. Verse 112 Tabe Bhattahari Haite Krishna Dasera Udhara राम जपी विप्र मुखे कृष्ण नाम प्रचार विप्र मुखे हिस अंतु ब्राह्मिन्स ट्रांसलेशन आफ्टर दिस कृष्ण दास द सर्वेंट ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु वाज डिलीवर्ड फ्रॉम द क्लचेस ऑफ भट्टा हारी चैतन्य महाप्रभु देन प्रीच दैट लॉर्ड कृष्णस नेम शुड आल्सो बी चैंटेड बाय ब्राह्मणस हु वर एक्सटेंड Purport in the Malabar district, a section of the Brahmanas are known as Nambuduri Brahmans and the Bhattaharis are their priests. Bhattaharis know many tantric black arts such as the art of killing a person, of bringing him under submission and of destroying or devastating him. They are very expert in these black arts and one such Bhattahari bewildered the personal servant of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu while the servant accompanied the Lord in his travels through South India. <coughs> Excuse me. Somehow or other, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu delivered this Krishna dance from the clutches of the Bhattahari. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is well known as Patit Pavan, the savior of all fallen souls, and he proved this in his behavior toward his personal servant Krishna Das, whom he saved. Sometimes the word Bhattahari is misspelled in Bengali as Bhatta Mari. <coughs> Verse 113. Shri Rangapuri Saha Tahani Milana Ramadas Viprera Kaila Dukha Vimochana Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then met Shri Rangapuri and mitigated all the sufferings of a Brahmana named Ramadas. Verse 114 Tattvavadi Saha Kaila Tattvera Vichara Apanake Hina Buddhi Haila Tan Sabar Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also had a discussion with the Tattvavadi community and the Tattvavadis felt themselves to be inferior. Vaishnavas. Purport, the Tattvavadi sect belongs to Madhvacharya's Vaishnav community but in its, behav its behavior differs from the strict Madhvacharya Vaishnav principles. There is one monastery named Uttaradhi and one of its commanders was named Raghuvarya Tirth Madhvacharya. Verse 115, Ananta Purushottam Shri Janardana Padmanabha Vasudev Kaila Darshana. 
Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then visited the Vishnu temples of Anantadev, Purushottam, Shri Janardhan, Padmanabh and Vasudev. Purport, a temple of Ananta Padmanabh Vishnu is situated in the Trivendram district which is Tiruvananthapuram present. This temple is very famous in those quarters. Another Vishnu temple named Sri Janardhan is situated about 26 miles north of the Trivandrum district near the railway station called Varkala. Verse 116 Tabe Prabhu Kaila Sapta Tale Vimochanat Setu Bande Snana Rameshwara Darshana. After that, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu delivered. The celebrated Saptatala trees took his bath at Setu Bandha Rameshwar and visited the temple of Lord Shiva known as Rameshwar. Purport it is said that Saptatala trees were very old massive palm trees. There was once a fight between Vali and his brother Sugriv and Lord Ramchandra took the side of Sugriv and killed Vali keeping himself behind one of those celebrated trees. When Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu toured South India, he embraced the trees which were delivered and directly promoted to Vaikuntha. Verse 117 Tahani Karila Kurma Purana Shravana Maya Sita Nileka Naravana Tahate Likhana. At Rameshwar, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had a chance to read the Kurma Puran in which he discovered. That the form of Sita kidnapped by Raman was not that of real Sita but a mere shadow representation. The Kurma Puran states that this shadowy Sita was placed into fire as a test of chastity. It was Maya Sita who entered the fire and the real Sita who came out of the fire. So we'll continue our reading next time from verse 118 onwards of the first chapter of the Matilila of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrit. Thank you for joining and um, happy Dwadashi to all of you. You must have opened your Ekadashi fast if you are in Europe and uh, elsewhere or where the Tithis are. So thank you for joining us today. Wish you all a blissful day ahead. Hariyam Tatsat. Hare Krishna.